Hi, my name is Beth and I'm the sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make reusable makeup remover pads. They look like this and they can replace the cotton balls or cotton pads that you would normally use to remove your makeup and then throw away. So I've been getting more into figuring out ways that I can reduce my waste and be more sustainable and this is one of the things that I've started doing. So I had a bunch of cotton flannel already in my stash and I'm just using that. So it's a great sustainable method right there using something I already have and then I've made these pads and at night I just use them to remove my makeup and then when I'm going to do a load of laundry I just throw them in the wash. Um, they're really easy and quick to make um, and in flannel they're really soft so um, I hope you enjoy this. Let's start sewing. To make my makeup remover pads, I'm using some flannel from my stash. It's random flannel. It has some print on it, but I think that doesn't really matter. And I'm cutting it into about two and a half by five inches. And then I'm going to fold it over and it will be a two and a half inch square. You can create whatever size works for you like it doesn't have to be a square it doesn't have to be this small just whatever works for you and what kind of scrap fabric you have on hand i do really like the flannel because it's really soft on the skin so i'll just show you how i cut some fabric so here's strip and this is about five and a half wide so let's cut two and three quarters this is kind of wonky okay that's probably going to be an extra long one this doesn't have to be super exact you're not wearing it it's literally used to clean something so i have my rectangle folded in half and my serger is all threaded and ready to go. And I'm going to show you how to stitch around a corner to create a really nice finish. So we'll just slide this under the presser foot and lower it. And then stitch all the way to the edge of the fabric. And then just a couple stitches extra. And then you want to lift the presser foot and pull the fabric back just a little bit so it comes off of that little metal stitch finger. Then you rotate it and you can pull the fabric so it's now in front of those threads and needles again. Lower the presser foot and you're just going to repeat around all four corners. And it's really just two stitches. If you go more than two stitches you'll have extra thread at the corner which isn't really a big deal. Okay, sometimes if I go too fast, I go too far. Okay, so now I'm just going to tie this tail thread in a knot and trim it. And now I have a nice little finished square. And you can see these corners are really nice and clean and sharp. Well, I hope that you enjoyed that video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or special requests. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then the little bell to be notified whenever I release a new video. Happy sewing.